Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm very excited to announce the Xbox One January 2016 software update. I did a video about two weeks ago talking about a brief update for the January 2016 update. However today Xbox announced the full patch notes. There will be an update today if you are a preview member, if you're not then this update will be available to download within the next few weeks, which I'm pretty excited about. This update is pretty cool. Uh, X if you guys don't know, Xbox like to bring out a new update every month, and they listen to you guys. So um, there's a forum called the Xbox Feedback Page, and you can basically write whatever you want. You can reply to other people's feedback and, you know, basically thumbs up. Like, you have, like, a voting system to say, you know, hey, we really want this feature to the Xbox. So it's pretty cool. So today, and by the way, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, guys, because I upload a video probably once or twice a month talking about the latest Xbox updates. So if you guys do want to be the first to know about any update, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy the video, and also comment down below your favorite feature of the brand new update. So, first things first, right? So in 2015, right, Xbox completely changed the Xbox One dashboard user interface, and it was a complete game changer. So what they've done in 2016 is they've sort of like adjusted it. They made it a little bit better from your feedback. So, um, so what's new in 2016, Matt? Well. There's a brand new option called See Who's in a Party. So what this is, is you'll now be able to see who's in an Xbox Live party before joining it. And you'll also be able to see who, what game they're playing with who and who and who. So, you know, previously, right, if you join an Xbox Live party, you don't, know, you don't actually know who's in the party. And you're like, oh, okay, I never knew you were so many people. So now you get to know, okay, right, okay, so I can see my friend Ben is with my friend Matt, and he's with a guy called Josh, and you go, okay, so my friends are in that group. Or, you know, you could join a friend, one of your friends, and you might be like, oh, okay, I don't know any of those guys. Maybe it's a little bit of a, you know, I don't, do I intervene? Should I join it? You know, will I feel welcomed or whatever? So it's a pretty cool feature, but you actually now know who's in each one's Xbox Live party, which I think is pretty cool. And you also know which game they're playing, or which game they're playing with who's. So um, if the party says, like, Matt and Ben, and it will say Matt and Ben are playing together, and it's pretty cool. So I really like that feature, and I think that's definitely probably the best feature of this update. Uh, game to score leaderboard, so we've had this before, but um, they're now integrated into the brand new user interface. Uh, also, what you can now do is you can view your most top score against your friends, as well as the 30 days. So in the last 30 days, you can see a leaderboard who's got who's gained the most you know achievements, as well as you'll be able to view against your friends in terms of who has the highest gamer score, which I think is pretty competitive and really fun to know. Uh, rearrange pins on home and access them offline. So the guys over at Xbox have made it easier to uh, allow us to manage our pins on our homepage. If you guys don't know what a pin is, uh, a pin is like a game or it's like an app. It's basically one of those little app things. So like for example, if you download Skype or your movies or whatever, and you want to rearrange it, like on the Xbox, you have like the free ability to uh, rearrange however your dashboard wants to look, which I think is pretty cool. Um, also, they're updating the activity feed on the Xbox One. So the activity feed will now inform you whenever there's a brand new item. So previously, you had to go to the activity feed to see what was the latest, uh, see what your friends were doing or whatever. Uh, but now we will actually inform you. So you'll be like, oh, there's four new notifications. So you'll be able to actually see, you know, what is the latest information. And it's pretty cool. A pretty simple update, but, you know, it's nice. Uh, also, joinable Twitch broadcast. So if your friend is like live streaming on Twitch, you now have the option to join your friend's broadcast, which I think is... A pretty useful feature. Um, I don't know if I would use it personally, but uh, some of you might do, and it was definitely a highly suggested update on the Xbox feedback page. They've also made improvements to the suggested friends. So, um, you know, you obviously have your friends, right? But however, you might want to add some new people to either, you know, play competitively, or you want to meet some new people online or whatever. And they've now improved the search engine. So if you play, like, for example... Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or Need for Speed, it will might try and base those search results on the games which you're playing, which is pretty cool. So if you add someone, you're like, oh, hey, do you want to play tonight? And uh, it's a great way to, uh, you know, meet new people online, you know, team up together, which I think is a pretty fancy feature. Now, this update is awesome. So, you know, when you go into your games and you can view betas which are no longer available, 
and you either have to delete them or use one of them removed. Well, they now have this option called hide games from ready to install list. So you know where the ready to install list is? And, you know, some games which you've downloaded on the previous Xbox or, you know, on your friend's Xbox and you don't really want to download them. We now have the option to hide them, so you can just hide that list completely, which is a very fancy feature. Uh, they've also updated the Avatar Store, so there's brand new items to the Avatar, Avatar Store. Uh, Xbox News, so there's a section now for Xbox News, which will provide you with the latest information regarding new hardware, console updates, and all that wonderful jazz. But if you are subscribed to this channel, then you will know about the latest about gaming, walkthroughs, and all that wonderful jazz. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, also, improvements to trending, so... If you have Twitter, uh, here's a quick plug, you know, why don't you follow me on Twitter at ConsistentGamer or at C Walkthroughs, where you can get all the latest information regarding the channels and stuff like that. But um, if you guys do have Twitter, there is a thing called Trending, and what that is is it basically just tells you all the latest news about what's going on. And they've now implemented this on to the Xbox. So well, if you go onto Xbox, go on the trending or under social, you'll be able to see what is the what's the community tab. And if you go under the community tab, you'll be able to see what all the latest information is going on and all that wonderful jazz. Finally, they've uh, on the Xbox app, if you guys don't know, so Xbox, you have an app for your handheld devices, so Android, iOS. And what they've done is they've now enabled a compact mode, which will allow you to access your Xbox via the app, but like a less, more of a more compact, so it has like less options, but um, it's like runs smoother and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, so that was the full January 2016 update. A few updates that I'm very excited about is see who's in your party as well as hide the ready to install list which i think is pretty cool but um but yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below and a wonderful jazz but as always i'll be seeing you guys in my next video adios chaps